Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I was asked to make a video discussing the difference between Makut traditions and voodoo and the Asogwes, also known as the Ason lineage. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little hesitant about making this video because I don't want no smoke. There's a little bit of a rivalry between the traditions and I don't want to promote division. So first off, I am not an Asogwe and I am not part of an Asogwe hound. I am Makut. So the information that I release in this video is going to be based on what I was taught as a Makut practitioner. So what is Makut exactly? When I say Makut, I'm talking about old style voodoo, meaning traditional voodoo. And Makut traditions follow the regime or the protocols of our ancestors. Now, Asogwe or Ason lineage is a younger lineage that was created as a remedy to the persecution of Haitians for practicing voodoo the old style way. Makut traditions were perceived as aggressive or rough around the edges and was not as aesthetically pleasing as people would have liked it to be. So the Asogwes created their own Wigdema to make things more uniformed, more streamlined, and more aesthetically pleasing. Now, Makut practitioners do not view Asogwe as traditional voodoo because the voodoo has been modified. So of course, as a result, you're gonna have all these varying opinions on how voodoo should be practiced and which one is better. Now, it's not my place to tell you how you should practice voodoo. I'ma tell you to do whatever your loi needs you to do. I personally don't care what you do. What you do with your loi is your business. Now, in general, Makut traditions view Asogwes as the bougie people that's across the tracks that think they better than us. And Asogwes tend to view Makut traditions as the niggas. Now, the two can get along, but there are some people that feel how they feel. There are a few observations that I made that I'm going to make mention of. A lot of the ceremonies that y'all see on the internet is Asogwe. Makut traditions tend to be more private with their practice. Makut traditions tend to be more accepting of the fact that not everybody's wudu is going to be or look the same. Whereas Asogwe's tend to push that wudu needs to be or look the same way. Asogwe's acknowledge some variants, but for the most part, they like it to be uniformed. But another key observation that I've made is that even though they seem to be more strict in certain areas, they are more flexible about who they allow in. Makut traditions don't play that. So hopefully this is clear enough for y'all to have a good understanding of what it is that I'm talking about. I do not present myself as somebody who knows everything. I only know what I was taught. So if you was taught something a little different, hey, go with that. But in general, when you talk to somebody that's Makut, they're going to tell you Makut is better. When you talk to an Asogwe, they're going to tell you Asogwe is better. But I'm not trying to convert none of y'all. Because this really all comes down to whatever you were taught. It's traditional values versus contemporary values. It's like conservative versus liberal. And I don't get into politics, so y'all just do whatever you want to do.